We're talking about cancel companies, and the last cancel company, yes, is, is the Clintons. That's it's Aaron Rodgers year. Cowboys man. games Aaron over there. Year. He's out already. <laughs> it's fucking. It is Aaron Rodgers what? year though. It's, it's bears, bears and nuts. Anyway. The artistic work of Snow White has been slaughtered. Son of a bitch! God damn it! The Indiana a Jones hundred year old story. They're gonna ruin. I get what well, you're saying. You know saying. it's you know it's bad when Apple is more protective of their data than Liberty saves. <laughs> 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 Universal Confusion Podcast, episode 21. Here yeah. with the boys. Here with the boys. Aaron, all the viewers, all the listeners, what should they be doing right now? Well, first, you need to celebrate that now our episodes at our legal drinking age. That's right. Yeah. But at the same yeah. time, go on and head over to our page, subscribe, click the bell notification so you can get updates for what, Justin? Well, you can get updates and notifications for all of our content, which comes out shorts, Tuesdays and Thursdays, full episodes on Fridays. And then where else can these fine, lovely people of YouTube find all of our other stuff, Dale? Well, check us out on Spotify, Amazon Music, Samsung Podcast, much more. Follow us on Facebook, X, TikTok, I suppose. Uh, if we're not flying. And, um... Let's go, boys. I think we got a good show. That yeah. was a much better introduction than last week. That was very I good. I got to say. That was very good. It's yeah. We're on our way. Yeah. We're oh, on we our know. way. Yeah, figuring anyway. it out. Where are we going? I can't. <laughs> Wherever we want. No, so this week's episode, I'm kind of excited about this one myself. This one's funny. This one, this was some good shit. It's so everyone knows good the shit. I had a good shit earlier this morning. Perfect. Every morning, I can tell you. Tell a me lighter. about it. Was, uh, tell me about it. I just felt it, good. It was good. Like I had a good heavy poop in the morning, and I like, yeah. had my coffee, and I went back, and I just had another good poop. I was like, "Wow!" Had yeah, two great back to back. Great, yeah. With coffee in between, Fantastic. and that Very segues good. right into Bud Light. It does. So we're gonna. <laughs> Are you? Oh, because like shit marketing is yeah, that? exactly. <laughs> oh. So what we're gonna talk about on this podcast, on this episode of the podcast, it's been talked about. It's been but talked about. We're still gonna do it, and we're gonna do it anyway. It. <laughs> so what? Companies if we beat that a dead have canceled horse. have managed. We will do it. Cancel companies to cancel themselves. Yeah, cancel companies. I guess this would be the title. Motherfuckers don't companies. care about profit. Cancel companies? Cancel companies. Cancel companies. Companies that go around canceling other companies? Well, no, we'll themselves. Cancel themselves. Let's talk about it and let's find out what we're talking about. <laughs> we're talking about All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, Sick fade. everybody knows Bud Light. Sick fade. You Everyone start knows. There. But we, you got to start. There's not even a, we can't say anything new. Just wow, man. Fucking wow. I I'm, never drank Bud Light to begin with. Maybe like, I, I, I think the last time I had a Bud Light was probably like 2007. All yeah. my friends used to drink Bud Light. This fucking shitty fucking beer. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Never was good. It wasn't good before. But they, it's not they good sold, now. they made a lot of money. And then at one point they decided like, hey, how, what can we do to like destroy our profit margin? <laughs> no, that's exactly. <laughs> that's. The, that if you were writing a script for <laughs> this movie, yeah, that's the that's I the mean, premise. They were sitting around the table, right, and everyone was like, "What can we do to tank this yeah. motherfucker?" And they're yeah. like, "You know what? Let's get a chick with a dick." Yeah. Well, let's dude, make some cans with her it, well, her his again, face on it. And I, I don't disagree with the spokesperson. If you wanted to do that, you know, like by all means, go ahead. But like they did it wrong though. Because they should yes. have like had this hot chick up there, and then hot Dylan Mulvaney just comes up, like drop kicks her out of the fucking way, pulls out machine guns, just starts like laying wasted whatever's around, and then okay. like sets it down and like fucking Bud Light. So you're That's actively even... looking for a job at the Bud Light marketing yeah, department. Yeah, let's right. do this. <laughs> we can turn this around. I feel like this is why he's not in marketing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> hot chicks sell beer. No, they do though. It's proven. Well, well, oh, I mean, yeah. it, it's, men it's... like women. Women, sexy women, are on beer companies. You know, well, calendars, dude. You want to? You want to be advertisements? A, like, well, it's yeah, a tale dude, as it's, old as time. It's dude. It's like, the nah. same thing. It's it's like marketing. If you want to be like a famous rock star, appeal to the chicks because if the chicks dig you, the dudes are gonna be there. They're yeah. gonna flock to where the chicks. Oh, yeah. oh, that's cool if you're a rock star. But when you're a beer that's drink, drank, drink. 
if that's well, yeah, but by, that's what I'm saying. Like the, you appeal to the like you get the you chicks, are you show a beer. The chicks. No, Ooh, Bud Light is not getting the chicks. Bud Light is a beer that's drank by rednecks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes. basically. But, yeah. No, but I know this because I are one. Commercial. I'm saying you, I you are use one. them in the advert. <laughs> <You laughs> <it. laughs> yeah. No. No, I think you're actually... I, no, I think you're absolutely right one. there. And, and it's been talked Arr. about at length. But the and, problem with And I've with never seen it, a redneck that was like, hey, you know what would be cool well, is a man saying he's a woman on my beer. No well, one's... No, no redneck has ever said that. Rednecks ever. also like bush light. D yeah. Yeah, but you don't see them doing this. What what's What's the bush light... But Bush is owned by the same company. Though. Okay, but but their In marketing the, yeah, department is Sweden. completely Different. separate. <laughs> right? <laughs> they're like, nah, let's not do that. <laughs> no, like they're getting like dudes holding cases over their head to scare bears away. Yeah, it's true. Well, Bud Light's over here. Well, Bud Light did what they did. The worst thing Bush Light ever did was like, let's come out with Bush Light Apple. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. a horrible decision. <laughs> That's the worst thing they ever did. I actually Although, know a guy that loves that shit. Bush light gives me diarrhea, so I don't drink that shit. I don't. I, I was. I just drink diarrhea. water <laughs> at that point. But I think you're absolutely. I think you hit on exactly the problem with this marketing campaign. It's been talked about it at length, and we're yeah. not the first. One. I'm not claiming like, oh, we're groundbreaking news here. No. But you have to know who your customer base is, and it's and definitely the not light, the woke. The Bud Light customer base is NASCAR loving fucking rednecks. Yes. And frat boys Dude, and what the football fuck? on Sundays. Oh, and, and people are bitching that like the commercials are more like frat boy driven commercials. Of course they are, because that's who's drinking your fucking beer. Who? And you're a company who tries to sell beer. So it seems to make sense that you would pander to your fucking audience. <laughs> Not well, in this I don't case. even have a degree no, in this shit, and that no, makes sense. No, I feel no, like you can't DEI do that. You have to, you have this. to pander to the very right, the one percent, dude. You have to pander the to the one percent. Yeah, you know, <laughs> the one percent. It makes way more sense because <laughs> then you can make them feel good and feel like they need to be part of, of, of Bud of, Light. Uh, fuck off. <laughs> they're not buying that I mean, beer like, anyway. Well, here's the thing. It's like. I don't know, man. I haven't been swayed by a commercial in... No, I know. No. no. Unless, I I'm mean, real hungry. Unless I'm morons. real hungry and the Popeye's fucking jingle comes on, I'm like, yeah. yeah. My but I never good. have yeah. I watched a Taco Bell commercial and been like, you know what? I'm going out and buying some Taco Bell no. right in the no. fuck now. No. no. Yeah. No. Because you that know you got to stop late night. Well, it is midnight. Here I go. Yeah. I had that's a bunch a, of Bud Light, so I guess I get some Taco Bell. <laughs> I fucking saw that. You fucking mic punch it. No, I didn't do nothing. <laughs> you mic puncher, <laughs> you, you, you mic punching motherfucker. That was a song back in the day. Wasn't it? That is you the, only the only advertisements. All right, the only the only advertisements that work on me is like yeah, musical it, equipment. Right, yeah, yeah, that's okay. it. That's it. No, so I mean that was the obvious one. Yeah, but like had easy. to touch on but it. I don't want to spend too much time no, on it because yeah. it's been. It's been beat I think we move jab. on to. I think what the logical next one is, and this one is a little bit bigger in the gaming community, but I think this yes. is. Uh, I think this is a huge thing. It was a huge statement, and I, I, I'm glad to see some of like you know the people I support actually coming out and and standing behind this. But uh, Activision canceled Nick Merckx because he said he stood with the children. I don't he, know. Who leave that the, is. He said, "Leave the children alone." Was all he posted. Well, they they took his bundle off. So the little, Call little, of Duty did. Little background. So, Call of Duty, couple of big streamers that I know about Call of Duty. Okay, <laughs> I'm glad you do. So the <laughs> Nick Merckx is a big streamer. He's a I have big that streamer every morning. Big dude, and he's he's worked his ass off. He's gotten to where he's gotten yeah. because he's. His work ethic, his gaming, all his, his channel, his community has grown and grown and grown over the years. Huge dude in the Call of Duty community and and, and really down to earth cool guy. Overall. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So him and a buddy of him, Tim the Tap Man. I'm not sure if you've heard of him or not. Heard of Tool Tim the Tool Man Taylor. Okay. No, but different, anyway, guy. different Tim, guy. Tim the Tap Man. Different yeah. guy. You so, would actually like Tim. I mean, he's right. funny. Yeah. He's funny. You'd enjoy it. Yeah. I was like fun. Okay. Fat fucker. And I mean, fat fucker. He's right. a fat fucker. Kind of hold he's, it. He's two ton Timmy tenders. Yeah. So this two guy, ton, two this ton guy eats and plays video Timmy games. Timmy the Twister he's, tenders. He's a solitary he does lifestyle. And play video games. He's also a oh, he Cowboys fan, fan which 
Yeah, he not this to be. year, bud. Oh, not yeah. this year. America's team, but not today. Not this year. <laughs> it's the Dolphins. What so, fucking America? The <laughs> fucking fancy riding horses. Fucking America. That's it's Aaron Rodgers year. Cowboys man. games it's Aaron Rodgers year. He's out already. <laughs> it's fucking. It is Aaron Rodgers what? year though. It's, it's bears, his year. bears and nothing. Still makes seventy five million. He's got yeah. all the news. I know. I, I twist an ankle all the way. too. Here's There's been K- no more memes. It is his year because isn't he with Kate Upton? Bears 24. I don't Bears know. 24. Kate Upton, right? What about Kate? That was like isn't that who's years with? ago? No, wait. I don't know. That's Justin Verlander. I thought he was gay. Forget Aaron Rodgers it. isn't gay? Go ahead. I thought Definitely. he was gay. So back on anyway, track, boys. Could be. So <clears throat> choo, choo. Call of Duty does these things where they release skins to modify the way your player looks. They put together a bundle with both Nick Merckx and with Tim the Tatman. Right. They went into these like body scans and all this shit to make it look as realistic as possible. About a week after release, was it? Wasn't it about a week about after a week, maybe two, the skins like were that. released? Yeah. Call of Duty's line. stop. Call of Duty's making a yeah. ton of money off this stuff. Yeah. Nick Merck says something along the lines of something came up in his chat about the transgender stuff. The push towards the kids. And he uh, said, it was the he push said, towards the kids. All I'm saying is, I'm not going to get too deep into it, but leave the kids alone. Sure. Activision, i.e. Ca- Call of Duty, canceled him. removed his bundle the next day because they didn't agree with the words he was saying, that they didn't mm. stand by his stance on... Leave the kids alone, apparently. Apparently, leave the kids alone was too much for them. Yeah. And since then, a lot of other streamers have said they will not play the game. Tim the Tatman has not been back on Call of Duty. He Dr. actually Disrespect. said, remove mine too. Yeah, no, Tim, yeah, called him out and said, remove mine too then. And had his own skins taken off the game because of what they did. And they said, you owe Nick Merch a public apology. Yeah. Or we will not be back to your video game. And they have not since. They have. And they have you held know, true to their word. And that is solid. They man. don't have to worry about me. The last time I played Call of Duty was the one that had the zombies on it. No, they still have okay. zombies. Yeah, on yeah, no, no. Ones, I'm but... talking about like 2008. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the last one you remember. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I play. I love the zombies. No, but it, 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 they lost a lot of shares. A lot of people decided they weren't playing Call of Duty. I'm one of them. I, 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 I used to play Call of Duty every like every season. I would end up downloading the game I and I would play it, it again and, and hope all that good. shit. And I just stopped because are you serious? Yeah, you wanted to, you wanted to take your LGBTQA fucking XYZ politics into a fucking video game That's about murdering people? Go fuck yourself. What about it's not, whoa, 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 whoa. People. It's not about mm-hmm. murdering people. It's uh, all that's the object of the game is to murder everyone else on the map. Except <laughs> no, it's to yeah. tactically execute. Dentist. No, so my point is <laughs> fuck them. Dude, yeah. fuck Activision. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I used to own their stock. Not anymore. Nope. I sold it. I wouldn't buy it for did you, fucking Did you nothing. get a profit or a loss when you sold it? I probably lost because they're... Probably because they know. suck. Yeah. Yeah. Now, is it Activision the ones that did Silent Hill as well? I am not. They've done a lot of not, stuff. I'm not familiar. They're in a lot of different titles. I know stuff. that they did, um, they did Street Fighter and shit. All I can say is that if you are not going to stand by the fact that young children, and I mean... 15, 16, and under. I get it. Are not ready no, for the totally. sexual ideas right. that this society has, I guess, just taken as mainstream no, now. I'm, right, not, right. I'm not sure. Yeah. Like, it's not okay. No, it's, it's not. not okay. They, they shouldn't be thinking about this it makes shit. You, you know what it makes you think of is like the sexual revolution of the 60s is way more tame. Then what the fuck's well, going on? Well, it just now? seems like a bunch of people are trying to fuck kids. Yeah, that's, really what, they, that's what they want. Just, yeah, that's weird. what I've been saying. It's weird. They want to fuck kids. It's fucked up. It's they want to fuck kids. So, that's all they give so a shit about. Activision fucking Which brings canceled. me to the Clintons. Ass. Canceled. Get, get kiss, rid of them. Kiss my ass. Yeah. So, uh, you got a lot, of, a lot of random people coming up to you. Back there, PMG. <laughs> yeah, how many people are trying to fuck you? Gus? Wow. Okay, don't Whoa. answer that. Whoa. Don't <laughs> answer that. How many, how many adults not like that. in the educational Fucking system are trying to twist your world? Girls and no one else. No, I'm talking about 
How many people in the educational world of adults are trying to twist your world into something to fit their no, fetish? No, I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think it's like rampant like wow, that. It's okay. just. I don't know. I'm it's just. just <laughs> it's just been just made a little no, too I'm normalized. I'm it's, waiting it's, for pitchforks and shit to come you, out. You wait, torches. Might, torches. Like, <laughs> you fuck with our kids yeah. too much. They might. That's true. So I think Activision is completely canceled. Well, because, I think, and uh, I think both of those them. clearly did it to themselves. Yeah. Yep. Right. Like, and and totally over the same issue. Look, I'm not against the whole like transgender. Well, like if I don't give a shit 18, what you're doing. Dude, if you're over eighteen, do you? Yeah, exactly. Leave the fucking kids alone, like dude said. Which is well, no, 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 said. no, no. Like if you're under eighteen, definitely do you. <laughs> When you're over 18, you can consensually do others. Okay. <laughs> Wait, well, that's not what I'm talking I, I, I about. That is, oh, yeah. If you're under 18, you want to rub one out, man. I mean, that's not my business. <laughs> oh, I, I'm not even talking about anything under 18 because I'm not going I there. I saw that light bulb go on over Justin's head and was I'm like, leaving that alone. Yeah, I knew what was coming. I'm leaving that alone. What all I'm saying is if you're over 18 and you want to be a fucking unicorn or you want to be... I don't know an orc a from Lord of the Rings. Bit ridiculous. Okay, okay, cool. You can do that. I don't. I don't. I am I not. not ab I, there's I am more, nothing more. for me to abide by your fantasy. No. Nor will I do that. No. I so totally agree with that. So leave me alone because I live in reality. Right. I'm not going to pretend a dude is no. a chick or a chick no. is a dude. Reality is where. It's Whatever. At. But yeah. if you're if you're doing your thing and you're not harming anyone. Okay, fine. Uh, I think the point of this when was though bringing that, under eighteen year olds. That we shouldn't be trying weird. to fucking direct kids, children into a. Oh, you feel like a girl well, when you're five? Like, so what if dude, the little I boy think, wants no. to dress the up like a girl? It, that doesn't mean he's a girl. What, right. what, what were Leave we thinking alone. about when we were Gus's age? When we were fourteen, what we were thinking about? Video games or pussy? Okay. <laughs> No, I'm with, I, I'm with Aaron on this one. With, Sorry, I was you definitely, on an island, but I, you know, Call I, was, of Duty? I was only playing video games because I couldn't have pussy yet. Exa uh, yeah. <laughs> when I was 14, I was like, confidence. Yeah. Okay, I guess. Fucking girls. Boobs, I was, yeah, I was riding my ass. bike. I was, yeah, riding my bike, video games. Playing, yeah. I think I just got playing drums. Fucking jerking off to some, you know, to whatever nudie mag you got your hands on. Nudie mag. Because you know what I'm, I'm saying, though? Is like the natural progression of like a, a fourteen year old boy is gonna be Well, you're just trying to figure yourself out. You don't even know yourself until exactly, you're twenty five to thirty years old. I That's know when it, you dude. actually get in the zone. Be before that, you're still trying to figure out the world and what you actually believe. So let's and fuck you them up with a bunch of shit that doesn't and matter. And you start to you start to come up with a series of right. beliefs, a, a set principles. Yes. You know, before that, changing your gender, man, that seems a little fucking drastic. Yeah. Maybe we you know, didn't think about that when we were know. kids. Maybe that wasn't a thing. Wear different pants. I don't fucking know. Like maybe that wasn't a thing, off. man. I, I I wouldn't have cared then. I don't care about it now. But like we were saying, the initial like thing is companies should just stay the fuck out of yeah. it. Yeah. No, you're like, a business. You have no. You're a business. Especially like, yeah. dude, you're a video game company. It'd be like, it'd be why like, are you canceling? Not your business. It'd be like, like spec automotive, like which brings us to the next the, thing the was like gender the whole, ideology. Like, yeah, no, as a, as I'm a, here to fix your a, car. As a company, I'm gonna spec fix your automotive car. Automotive accepts anyone who wants their automobile fixed. Exactly. We don't give a okay. shit what right. you okay. do whoa, whoa, whoa. in your free time. Unless you're fucking cars, poor. It's not you. Wow. <laughs> we're not mental health experts. No, right. poor not people. in charge of marketing. Call, call them because we're poor. <laughs> you, you are almost in charge of marketing. Now you are not in charge of marketing. <laughs> you're only not poor because your girlfriend's rich. We're so, moving on. So again, <laughs> so again, yes. we so need companies we need like on. that. But again, companies like that should stay out of stuff. Um, well, what's, what's like, your... Uh, should stay Stay out of like any kind of like social stuff like that and any political things, which is kind of like Disney and with their like Disney, the whole thing. And so let's talk they about Disney up. real quick because gonna, that's on the list also. Yeah. I know even like the Gina Snow Carano right. thing in Star Wars because she posted something online that was right leaning well, and they got all fucking butthurt about it and wanted to get rid of her. And I don't, like a bunch of people threatened to quit. I'm going to say that I don't even think it was, was right leaning. Like, they shouldn't even have like. They should have no say in that. That's somebody's personal no, so, things, but well, Disney's right. kind of like a not. Why does the business anyway. care about? No, you have you have an absolute point because that was that was that was the next company on our list anyway. Um, They're going to ruin Snow White, dude. Do Disney? 
They're as remaking whole, Snow White. Do you care? As a whole, Disney. I don't know. I'm Disney, not going to watch it anyway. The artistic work of Snow White has been slaughtered. Son of a bitch. God damn it, the Indiana A hundred year old story they're going to ruin. I don't know. They're just they're just gonna invest all this money no, and they're the gonna story lose all it this time Pick that was stuff up. Beauty yeah. and the Beast. <laughs> I mean that was very over dramatic, but I'm just saying. I mean, like I just laugh like you go on this like Snow White. Like, well, I mean, <laughs> Ev, do you know what I'm they're talking gonna about? Ruin it. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? I all do right. know what you're talking and about. They're remaking is, they're, Snow White, uh, and the girl <laughs> that's playing Snow White is a fucking idiot. She doesn't even know what she's talking about. No, no, there, it's no from what I've heard about the new Whoa. Snow White that's coming out, it's completely different from the original Snow it White is, story. Right. They rewrote it. They made Snow White. Uh, uh, she's I Latina. Guess. Yeah, so, I mean, she's a cute girl, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure she is. But like, it's just kind of weird. Like, why don't you write a new story? And this is this is the problem that I have with Disney personally. It's is, an old story. You though. are only remaking yeah, your own shit your own shit right, right. worse yeah yes. you're not writing new stuff no nope. you're literally and and every fucking movie studio has done this time over and time and again that's all they do over. no original material it's all just remakes and yeah. the remakes blow they did the lion king live action and i heard it got good reviews and everything else the lion king was a cartoon for children, yes, that killed amazing and still kills today. Amazing, it was an but they amazing remade it actual movie. because these motherfuckers have no ideas. But 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 None. you're also you you're guys also, are really fired. Uh, I know. Yeah, oh my god, we get to Disney. Dude, it's just garbage. <laughs> Oh, I'm waiting for Steel to go Super Saiyan or no, something. No, but you're bringing yeah. back some. You're bringing back some old men. Like, it's like, just remakes. Back, remember, remember, like the original Little Mermaid VHS tape. It had the golden dick. Yeah, I remember yeah. The in golden the castle. Dicks. Everybody remembers the golden dicks. If you everybody don't remember remembers the golden, the golden dicks, dicks. Now there's also the in the Lion dicks King. On the mermaid. Yeah, in the Lion King, oh, God, there was a part go. where there was some some dust or whatever where like if you pause it it says sex yeah i saw that <laughs> yeah. i saw that right as well. yeah, and yeah in aladdin also in aladdin there was like a like in the background there was robin Williams said go ahead and like fuck her or something i don't yeah. know yeah no so uh, but I, how I, are they canceling I, themselves now though you know, so so back right, then they, it was fine because it no. was it was hetero <laughs> <laughs> so to back this up just a little it was hetero bit so my then. problem isn't even the shit movies they're making my problem is the actual policies they're putting in place in their parks. This is true. Uh, it's My problem isn't even with Disney. My issue is 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 Disney is just <laughs> fucking. It's wore out. Okay, well I'll give I'll give you something to be mad about. Then hang okay, on one cool. sec. All right, let's go. So their policies in their Only parks, um, and and including but not limited to employees and employee selections for certain roles inside their parks. Okay. They're a very famously woke company, right? Quote unquote. Yeah, sure. Now. Yeah. Okay. Now. Um the the old CEO did a really good job of hiding that fucking it all up. And then um <laughs> what's his name came back. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. what's his name? Eisen? Iger. 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 Yeah. Came, he came back to try to fix it and has somehow made it worse. Mm. So part of their policies are, so just one example that I've seen. There is inside the park in Florida, there is a salon where little girls can go and get made up as Princess? princesses. Okay. They have if a... They have a greeter. Yeah, if I was a little girl, I'd love that. That would be awesome, right? I mean, right. that's part of the allure of the sure. original Disney and the. Park you want to be the princess? Yeah, experience the yeah. magic, right? Wasn't that? I think that well, was. I know. Catch it was is there so grown men in there getting made up so as princesses? Fun. Not in there, but the greeter that you have to make an appointment before you go there. Is a dude. There's a greeter outside that greets the little girls as they come into the salon to get is made a dude up. Do dress up as a princess. Yes. Oh, okay. uh, how do I guess that? It's it's a dude <laughs> who's non-binary. I don't know how you he, ended on <laughs> it. Wasn't I'm not that even going well, I'm not going to pretend how he identifies, but he's out front dressed as a princess welcoming these little girls that want to get made up as princesses into the salon. I want 
I want to segue. I, th- I don't think that's right. I want to segue here. I want to get back to your story, but I want to segue to what you just said about the man being non-binary. I don't I want, know what he I is. Wanna, I want to point something out. I've lost I want to point something out here point it that out. seems to be very hypocritical. <laughs> if you're non-binary, then that is in, it, in and of itself an admission that there's two sexes because binary means two. Yeah. So you're admitting that you're non of these two sexes, but that there is only two True. sexes, so would it be non Something else because I don't know how many spectrums there are. Wouldn't be non binary, wouldn't it? (laughs) Spectrums is a mental illness. So, anyway, getting back to the thing, I just want to point out that non binary in itself is a a little bit of a mission of binaryism. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. Binaryism. Yeah. No, I understand that. But it just, that doesn't. That's weird. Why would you make that decision as a company to do that? Because they don't give a shit. Because they're not going to make money. And even if there was a little boy that wanted to go and get dressed up like a person, if it was like a little young kid, let him go fucking do it. So I, don't know, I don't have a problem don't with that. Don't cut his dick off. I don't know. Well, I don't think they hey, offer that. Hey, my kid. I don't think they <laughs> offer Jesus that service Christ. in the Walt Disney, Disney Park. fucking hate. I haven't been to Disney Whoa, in a while. I don't know. <laughs> first off, first off. <laughs> off with his dick. I don't Disney. think they offer Harry, that. Disney hates Jews, okay? Like, that's Walt Disney was very they're, anti-Semitic. They're, yeah, they're terribly anti Really? Oh, no, horribly. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that was. at all. Yeah, no, oh, he didn't. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't yeah. a fan. He was why also we, very anti communist, too. Which is like the same thing. But anyway, kind of weird, right? but policies <laughs> like that, and they've put other policies in place but, that are very much along those lines that, that anyone can play any like, role. Dude, like, I understand as an adult how we go, like, oh my God. That's if the up. dude rolls up there, and like nails the princess part, I doubt the little girls even gave a shit. Probably didn't even blink. It I is, understand that. You don't is, know that. It though. is good to have a transgender point of view on our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think but, that, I, mean, I mean, that's a valid you point. Can't put yourself into those I mean, little but girls. Like, <laughs> but as an adult, we put way more prejudice on things than a child. We do. Maybe, Absolutely. Maybe, I, think I don't know, dude, should. because now, we well, it's we're our the, responsibility. now yeah. they're expecting six-year-olds to have fucking adult viewpoints. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Thank bring you. It up, bring it up sexual fucking anything to a fucking six-year-old is the most ridiculous exactly, fucking thing. Dude. They are supposed to be doing whatever the fuck makes them well, but, happy. Okay, so, yeah, no, I not, yeah, not, no, that's a whole different tangent. Kids don't but, sexualize shit until no, they hit puberty. We do that. Four kids, which oh, is yeah. real True. fucked up. No, we don't. Um, no, we, we don't. No, I mean, not, we, not collectively. Not we. The, I'm like, not the uh, world. No, we, no, we don't. <laughs> this guy, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think that's a valid point Ooh. that Justin. I, I'm it, serious. It is. No, I think that's a valid point, a point that, like, the little girl probably doesn't give a shit who's greeting at the thing. However, why would them as a business no, make no that decision to put that person in that place versus? Yeah, we'll still hire you, but you're gonna go and you're gonna do this instead of this. I always thought like the fact. You you understand what I'm saying? I mean, I get you. But see, okay, like again, do we have a picture of this dude? Because like there is video of dude. Like, does he have like a beard? Does he look like a dude? Yes, because actually does. Okay, Okay. that's because that's the other thing too. Is like if it's like usually those guys. I, I I is a business? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that as a business. Personally, as a management choice, as a marketing choice, as a whatever choice, I'd be like, ah, uh, no, shave your beard. And if you look like a feminine chick when we put makeup on you, and you, know, you look like this princess, unless there is like a bearded princess. Not that I'm aware. No, of. no I don't know of any you need historical to look like, bearded princesses. You need to look princesses. like a Disney princess because the whole thing with Disney is Literally, literally like taking the amusement character. park fucking maintenance so, guys that fix the rides and putting makeup on them in a dress. It's, it's what it is. It's a carnies, the carnies <laughs> dude. It's a, it's a company that yes. doesn't know how to it. react, like most of them, to the whole transgender thing because it's and like, the shit up. what do you do? Oh, they'll sue. So they're just like, fine. Yeah, I know. Franchise, I know. I don't know. I just feel like it's, maybe there's someone more qualified, like a woman. I feel like again. Maybe. I think we, but I'm, we're it, much more, like, much more stubborn. Genius we're, over here. I, I hate to feel or to be, you know, throw out the feminist thing here. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe women are more qualified. Maybe to women, be women are more qualified to play a woman in a Disney maybe. park. Maybe you we're going back to Shakespearean <laughs> times. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, there yeah. was dudes that are the, dressed are the, up as chicks. Are the feminists coming out for it? All right. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna shut this down. I'm gonna shut yeah, it down. We gotta, I mean, we gotta move on. I'm gonna hit on the We're coins, already bro. This is gonna run over and it's gonna have to, Clintons. and that's just the way it is. But listen, yes. we need to move on to our next subject, Hillary. which I think is way more important than whether or not a Disney princess yeah. is alive or dead. What we need to do is we need to figure out what the fuck is going on with Liberty Safes. Have yeah. you guys heard oh, about this I shit? No, I haven't I don't know shit. Oh my god. Brad, would you in, like bro. to would you like to I'll take it if you want. Yeah, I, so, think, I think you have the more information here. So there was a guy that was quote unquote present at the January 6th thing. Okay. Uh, whose house just got raided last month, I believe it was, if I'm yeah. correct. Um, for just being there. there. Like not like taking anything, not seeing what not even it, going into the Capitol. No, not I, even going I know in. they're targeting people that were just, oh, yeah, there. They're just there. Oh, so yeah, they and and Whatever, like that's a, that's a podcast in and of itself. Yes, it so is. So the FBI raids the house. They have a warrant. Okay. He has a Liberty gun safe in his home. They say, "What's the code to your Liberty safe?" He says, "I'm not telling you." So the FBI then calls Liberty safes. They give the FBI the master code for all Liberty gun safes. Ouch. Now, some could say, well, the warrant included the gun safe for search. However, that warrant was against the gentleman who owned the safe. Right. Not Liberty safes themselves. Right. So, in my opinion, the correct response from Liberty, they were under no legal obligation um, to give out the code. Without a subpoena signed mm -hmm. by a judge... To give the code. Right. The warrant wasn't against Liberty Safes. Right. I get what well, you're you saying. Well, you know it's you know it's bad when Apple is more protective of their data than Liberty Safes is. <laughs> 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 Justin was right about something today. Yeah. So so the, so, yeah. so, was, so, so the memes have gone bird. wild. <laughs> So the memes have gone wild to go full circle. There's memes of like uh, somebody opening a Liberty Safe is full of Bud Light and then it's Dylan Mulvaney opening the Liberty Safe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. And I mean, what's in the Liberty Safe is a bunch of Disney shit. No, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure there's one of those as well. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so Liberty Safe is canceled. Uh, I mean, they, they've managed as, to cancel. As a themselves. gun owner, I would never own a Liberty Safe now forever. Yeah, my, my, until my former brother in law death. has one of those. Well, dude, it's. Well, now he probably should get rid of just it. So he knows the FBI that has a fucking They can get to it anytime already. they want. And you and can't tell me that's not in the database now. Probably one, two, three, four. <laughs> you know, the password is password. Yeah. <laughs> password one, two, three, four, if you really want to be safe. And yeah. throw them off, the O is a zero. So, yeah, yeah so if you, you own a Liberty safe, get rid of that shit. They're garbage. And if you're looking for a safe, don't buy a Liberty. Don't buy a Liberty. That's that's not. Bad. I'm going to very soon be in the market for a gun safe, and as a gun owner, I can tell you that I will not, not be, be looking you at just Liberty. Get safes. a gun lock. In fact, I don't even own a gun, but just to spite Liberty safes, I'm going to go buy one from another company. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to buy a that's gun how mad rack. you are. I can tell. <laughs> I can tell by looking. I'm going to store my drum hardware in there. There you go. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm going to buy a gun rack and put it in the window of my truck. I don't there need a go. gun rack because I don't own a gun. <laughs> to necessitate a gun rack. Sorry. We didn't even touch on the Clintons, Had to hit the man. World Hold a on, we haven't have gotten there yet. <laughs> You're because, jumping you know, ahead. Because you guys are, are are dead set on these 30-minute podcasts. Okay. No, we're not. Well, oh, we're, we're, we're going to be here now. pretty quick. <laughs> we're rolling over. We're just, just no, because rolling, we have, bro. We have, a, we have another company that we've yet to discuss, and Let's I think that it. might be another. The final, think, number five on the list, not in any particular think, order. Not, no, we're just talking about cancel companies and it's not yeah. necessarily companies that have canceled themselves with their stupidity, although right. I think that's been the theme so far. Yes. We're talking about cancel companies. And the last cancel company yes. is, is the Clintons. Yeah. They have canceled more people <laughs> yes. over the course of, I don't know, 50 years. Through airplanes going down, through car accidents, car accidents. Weird suicides on the side of the road in the Jeffrey middle of the New Epstein. Mexican range hangings and <laughs> So I think I think honestly number one uh, might be. I think yeah, when it comes down to it, no one has canceled other people more than the Clintons. I yeah, that's true. And uh and I, and, and I say that and with all intention of living 
and never committing suicide. I will say this right I, now. I, I, I will I not just commit suicide. I will not cancel that myself. Is, I don't want to die. I'm going to write this in stone right here, right now. <laughs> ha, ha, if this isn't ha, true. Did not kill her. <laughs> if this is not true, right, if the Clintons haven't canceled more people than anyone, then I want Bill and Hillary Clinton Come on our show. To fly here. Come on our show. And tell, tell me us how you didn't kill motherfuckers. How you didn't kill motherfuckers. I think that podcast is me and Aaron, though. I'm just sorry. You guys are going to have to. We're going to have Bill and Hillary think, right I here. I don't want to yeah. even be in town. Me and you. I me and you, bro. Yeah. No, no, yeah. We yeah. just yeah. have yeah. anything yeah. else to do. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what. That's, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. I'd love to Because do at the end of that podcast, we might not be alive. No, you ever seen Freddy the versus just zooms Jason? And then mm-hmm. you guys are never seen or you, heard from again? Ever. You ever see Freddy versus Jason? Yeah. Where Freddy shit. takes over the one kid in like the mental hospital and he's got yeah. the two syringes by his back to right. knock Jason out. And Jason's coming and all his friends are running and he's like, he's like, he's like, let's go, let's go, let's go. And his friends stand there and he's like, I got this bitch. Bro, yeah, you yeah. lost me at Freddy I got versus this bitch. Jason. <laughs> Yeah, you yeah, do. right. Well, I mean, me and you versus the Clintons. Yeah, yeah right. Freddie versus Jason. Yeah, I can see. I, really I can like, see. It I now. would do it. I would. I they, would. Yeah, do security it. comes in. You Jason guys are. Us, you I'm guys are sure. fucking standing there. Hillary comes walking in. Hi guys, nice to meet you. Blah blah blah. I'm Hillary, and you're like, oh, nice to meet you, man. Blah 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 blah. And then Bill comes up, and he's gonna be like, hey guys, nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah shake your hand. Hey, and wait, then next I thing, next boys, thing you know, dude. is you guys are gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> what, oh my what, God, Mr. Oh, Clinton! Oh, oh better than that. What is that? What, what is what is this? Oh man, <laughs> that is dick. My God, I'm saying you got us down here, taking care of liking Bill and being like he's my dude now. Yeah. Well, you know, you know, he Bill's, did something that no no oh, no presidential really candidate has hell. ever done. No, he has. He has. He Absolutely. picked up that black baby and he kissed it right on right on the side of the face and he held that baby. Okay. <laughs> Just saying, dude. That was it. That's, he don't, that's, that's, that's what he did. He don't give a fuck about no, I anyone. Actually, no, I actually think exactly. I back to the Lion King. All right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. He did. I he lied and picked that black dude. baby. I think Bill's there all right. It is. I think Bill Bill's Clinton all right. Did a Lion King thing. I think Hillary makes him kill these people. That's Probably, dude. Think. You know what I'm saying? Like he's you're stressing a, out you're every a fucked night. Up relationship. Oh, and like you got this overbearing, got crazy these people's bitch. souls on my Talk mind. About off the rails. He's, he's just sitting. <laughs> I, I guarantee Bill's probably I sitting there. Like these people, they're like, "How I can you deal with this, this Mr. Clinton?" And he's like. Oh man, she keeps rope under the bed. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her. I don't, don't mess with her. He's got man. that hostage tape. Yep. <laughs> that hostage tape. It's She's always like, rolling. That's we did snoring. nothing wrong at Benghazi. We did everything right. Which brings me to the next point. Hostage tape. The snoring one. Reach out to us. We would love for you to sponsor an episode of this podcast. Yeah. This feels like pandering. It is pander. Oh, it's pandering. Shit, are we pandering what now? Pandering. Is this pandering mode? It's asking for. I, pander, I, I am pand- seriously one hundred and ten percent requesting that Bill and Hillary Clinton come on this podcast. Fucking right, God, hell yeah! Bring they it. have the means. You ain't got the balls, Hillary. They have the <laughs> means to fly into Kankakee Airport and come here and talk to us. Yeah, they do. They can no, bring. But she's security. probably got enough Set sense the to not. I ain't gonna do something. I don't own a gun. I just want to have a I conversation, to dude. I want to ask you questions that no one has the balls to ask. <laughs> you couldn't. You what? usually. I, I would never. You could bring whatever you wanted. It would be removed from you. <laughs> you usually uh, don't start an invitation with "Don't worry, I, I won't, won't have a gun." <laughs> yeah, like, this isn't a cult. I'm yeah, not no, talking about my but dick. I totally feel like it is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, this isn't a cult, but everyone needs to wear these white go Nike behind, shoes. Go behind those doors, take off all your clothes, and put this lube on your ass, but I'm not going to fuck you. That's right. I'm Don't worry. I'm going to worry about it. Too. My, my, Justin uh, has heard those words so many my times. My love pump. Uh, my <laughs> love gun. <laughs> Ugh. I, think Dude, we, I don't know I how I always end up as a glory up, guys. Like, no, I think so, too, because I think I get, my point is this. There's lots of cancellation going on. I don't think that uh, that shit's real. I think I think I think it's a whole bunch of people pouting and bitching and fucking just. Well, I think just just trying to complain about shit that don't fucking matter. I think yeah. I think the good thing though, and and Laura, our taxes. if we're talking about you know a silver <laughs> lining here, is it is really nice to see people stand up. 
yeah. for something they believe in. I'm just we don't saying. have to spend the money with the companies we don't want to spend our money. And I, and well, I, think I that's mean, the point. It was well, lower it was taxes. Really nice it's basically if, if you're if you're a business, stay out of my uh, like politics, stay out of religion, and stay lower out of taxes. my sex. Yeah. Unless you're if selling you, me sex. If you're gonna do that, then stay. Lower it. taxes. I don't give a fuck. Lower taxes. I gotta pay taxes on shit I already fucking pay taxes on. Like Motherfucker, sex. fuck. Dude, we should have at least a two percent tax on taxes. Oh, fuck I, that. A, a, you I, know what I mean? I we should have that. a we should have a tax of the people against the government. <laughs> That'll fix our problems. We yeah. should unionize as the people of the United yeah, States of America and then work. tax the government. United Auto Workers, all right? That's all I got to say. For allowing <laughs> us the UAW to be... Is gonna cause some problems. For allowing uh, us to help... I think, yeah. shit, man. I, think, I think the point here is fuck cancel culture. Yeah, everyone's fuck sick of everybody. it. Matter of fact, try to cancel us. Write fuck the negative everybody. comments. You can't Bring cancel it us. Yeah. Give me your fucking negative comments. Tell us how bad we are. We fucking also respond to every up. single comment That's we true. hear. So I'd love to have a conversation I'm going to end it with this. Okay. Namaste. Motherfucking Kid Rock said... I you can't cancel me. I'm uncancelable. But then go behind the grat drinking a Bud Light. Motherfucker, you ain't gonna find me drinking a Bud Light. You're gonna find me drinking a zombie dust. <laughs> I'm uncancelable, bitch. Because I got riffs and he's got beats. No, it's because you have taste and Bud Light. That's sucks. true. I do have taste. <laughs> Watch this. Uh, we're gonna cancel him right now. Bye. <laughs> Truck. My damn old pickup truck and my dog. Who hit my wife? <laughs>